Well, good morning, folks, and welcome to the Boom Show. Shout out to Eight Man Strong right here, baby. Um, Conor McGregor puts out a retirement statement this morning. Um, I put out a poll, whether you think it's truth, whether you think it's tactics, I don't know. We'll see what happens. Dana White put out a statement saying that he thinks Conor McGregor is good. He's really, truly retired. You know, he has enough money. He's doing well with his whiskey business. So we'll see. I think that's true. I think Conor does not have to fight ever again, and he could be well off into the sunset fine. But he's been putting out videos in the last couple of months, you know, training hard, talking shit to every fighter that wins in his division or in welterweight division, you know, talking about when he went on a passionate rant at some place recently and he was talking about you know the nate trilogy is gonna happen it has to happen nate's been tweeting stuff out back at him to be honest my my initial thoughts are that he's kind of playing a little bit of a tactic because let's be honest when people retire in this sport and then they come back it's just a bigger splash it's just another surprise even though people are skeptical and they think oh I doubt he's retired. It's still, you know, give it a month when he comes back out and says, oh, I'm going to fight Nate in this trilogy. It's just going to be a bigger splash. So it's really a somewhat of a business tactic, even if it doesn't have to happen. He's going to make millions of dollars anyways. Perhaps maybe he wants a share in the UFC company and they're not willing to do that. So he says, well, then I'm retired, you know, and, and that makes them think twice because they want Connor to fight again. It's only more money for the business. They don't need him to fight again, but they would like him to fight again. So we'll see what happens with that. Uh, I truly think that Nate and him had been in somewhat of cahoots, maybe not talked to each other, but understood the business when they first were fighting and how to work things out and how to you know, play tug of war with the with the business side of things and, and, and get some more leverage and some more negotiation power. And I think that this could be another factor that's playing into this situation as well. Um, I wouldn't be surprised if in the next month or two we hear something different about Conor McGregor. So let's see what happens from here on out. But I don't think he's truly retired. I think we're going to see him back in the cage. I do think the Nate Trilogy fight will happen. I don't think Nate's going to fight anybody else, really, unless that happens. Unless the UFC offers him the same price point that they would against McGregor, which I don't see happening. But we'll see, man. Uh, we'll, we'll see you guys next time. Tune into the Boom Show. Boom, baby. Follow me on Instagram, Brian Boom 135 Same on Twitter. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Champ.